Hey everybody, appreciate you joining me once again. We are cooking inside today. Thought I would do some braised chicken thighs. Should be pretty good. And uh, I'll show you what we're gonna do with it. All right, the first step is to take some garlic and I've probably got like uh, about 20 cloves in there. Uh, I chopped the end of it off, the root end, and I also took the skin off. And what you do, you need to, to blanch this so it's not as strong in the dish. And to do that, if you've never done it before, it's, you're going to repeat this process three times. What you're doing is putting the garlic in water, bringing it to a boil, letting it boil for a minute or so, straining the water off. Put fresh cold water in there, bring it back up to a boil second time. After a minute or so of boiling, strain that water off. Third time, again. After it does it three times, pour cold water on the garlic to keep it from uh, continuing to cook and at that point it's blanched and we can use it in our dish. All right folks we've got our garlic that has been uh, blanched. I'll put a little bit of oil down here in this pan. We're gonna brown these chickens up while that's warming up on a medium high. I'm just gonna put a little salt on this chicken here. Okay. Alright, I forgot to mention I am using walnut oil and uh, should work out alright, but if you don't have that, by all means use saffron or canola. It should work for you pretty good. And what you want to do, once this is hot, is put these chicken pieces skin side down. And you don't want to cook them all the way through. You just want to brown that skin a little bit. Not dark brown, just, just brown it a little bit. You'll see. So we'll do it a couple, two or three minutes on this side and we'll flip it to the other side. All right, the skin did stick just a little bit. This is a brand new pan, first time using it. Uh, so while I got it on this side, I am going to salt this side as well. about ready to flip over, I believe. Take a look. Uh, a little bit more. A little bit more. Be right back. Alright guys, we're going to flip these over. Just going to cook them for a few minutes on this other side. Get off that. Be right back. Alright, these chickens are ready and again you don't want to cook them all the way through so just a couple of minutes on this side get back over here set these aside for right now all right we got all that goodness in there what we're going to do is throw in some onion it's about a half of a big sweet onion here and we're going to move all this goodness around right here we got all that good oil and stuff in there the, from the chicken. We got all this chicken pieces parts down here. It's going to kind of help deglaze the pan. We get all that, all that stuff off of there. So we'll flip these onions down. Be right back, y'all. Hey guys, I forgot to mention. Get your oven going, preheated to 400 degrees. All right. Once your onions are caramelized, what you need to do is put you in some mushrooms. I'm just using some of these uh, baby bellas right here. They're already pre-washed, cut up. And my fire is still like on a medium high. So we're going to get a liquid going here. In the middle of this we're going to throw in uh, half a stick of butter. That's, uh, what is that, one cup? Oh, I'm sorry, quarter cup. Quarter cup of unsalted butter. And we're going to throw some salt in there. Like that. A little pepper. All right, we're going to kind of continue the deglazing process here. So we'll be back shortly. 
All right, when this is almost deglazed here, and it's actually forming some more glaze on its own with the mushrooms and stuff, just pour the blanched garlic in there. Give it a couple minutes. All right, and when all this is reduced down like it is, what you need to do is get you a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Throw you a shot or two in there. that and I also want to put some red wine in there or some sherry or something and I'm using this uh, Karen's favorite uh, local Ed's smooth red again if it's good enough to drink it's good enough to go in the food so gonna throw that in there like yeah a little more there we go now what you want to do kind of again warm this up let it deglaze the pan and you want to get this almost dry once again but you want to scrape the pan and get all that pieces and bits of stuff off of there off the edges and off the bottom so we're going to reduce this almost to no liquid left and we'll be right back all right this sure does smell a whole lot like french onion soup right now the garlic and the onion and stuff and the mushrooms Whew, goodness little balsamic wine tell you what man that's that's some good smell of stuff so when it starts to get down low like this I got my regular chicken stock right here I'm gonna throw in about half of this 32 ounce yeah a little bit more yeah a little bit more yeah that's right okay throwing about half of that box there so about uh, about two cups basically 16 ounces and we're gonna bring this up to a boil be right back all right so this just came up to a nice little rolling boil what you want to do is nestle this chicken back down in here like so all right and put enough juice in there enough broth to come up not over the skin, but just coming up to it. Kind of like that. There you go. All right, we're going to stick this in the 400 degree oven for about an hour and let all them flavors mingle together. Be back here in an hour. All right, we just pulled this out of the oven. As you can see, the skin's nice and crispy. These two are lacking some skin and kind of got caught up. Anyway, looks good. All right, now what you want to do once you pull this out of the oven is take your chicken and pull it off to the side, just temporarily. Oh, look at that. That's falling apart, y'all. Anyway, take this off to the side. Reserve that for a little bit later. Now what you want to do is reduce this, stock this in here, and uh, get it thickened up to where it coats the back of the spoon. See, it's not doing that right now. So we're going to warm this up, thicken it up. Be right back. All right, folks, we're from the South and I don't think I can wait and let this get thick enough to coat the back of a spoon. Cause I think if it does that, we ain't going to have enough gravy to go on my rice. And we do like rice and gravy. So, uh, I know this is kind of green on green, but I got some uh, baby spinach here washed. Throw that in there real quick. We're gonna wilt this down. Shouldn't take very long at all. And I've got some uh, just regular long grain white rice back here in the back. And that's, that's done. And over here on the right hand side, I'm fixing to throw some broccoli in there. We're gonna get some broccoli going so we'll have a little bit of veggies. All right, so we're gonna do this, be right back. All right, now this is the point where you taste for seasoning. If it needs anything, go ahead and add it. Uh, we just tasted this, me and uh, Karen. I don't think it needs anything at all. So we're good. What we are going to do, and that, that spinach has just been there for like a minute or so. I'm going to throw the chicken back in there and warm it back up. Kind of nestle it in there. And just like so. 
All right, we're going. Get that warmed up. Be right back to show you the finished product. All right, welcome back. Thought I'd give this dish a try. And I'm out back. Wife's watching a movie. So let me show you what we got. That's what we got right there, y'all. Lots of gravy. I like it like that. I don't like it real, real thick when I'm doing rice. On a dish like this, anyway. Sometimes I do like it thick. Got some uh, broccoli over here we steamed up. So let's check it out. Yeah, there we go. And just so y'all know, I ain't crazy about mushrooms or mustard. But, you know, wife likes it. Hey man, I like that spinach and stuff in there. Mmm, that's actually really good. Let me try some of this chicken. I can get some of it off here. Let me see. Oh yeah, it's just falling, falling apart, baby. Hey y'all. Mmm, got the spinach and that stuff. Mmm. Ain't no lie. I ain't crazy about mushrooms, but man, this is good. This is my first time doing this, y'all. Am I good? Alright. Enough of y'all watching me. Y'all go try this, man. It's excellent. Let me know. Appreciate you. Love you. Bye.